All right, first I apologize that I sound like a frog, but I've been sick. Um, but I wanted to get this uh, filmed today. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm starting with a coat of uh, colors by Laroe Pine Bows, which is this uh, really pretty dark green hollow. And then I'm going to double stamp um, twice with this dark born pretty dark green born pretty store stamping polish in this metallic green born pretty stamping polish using um, Lena Nail Art Supply for Seasons 01 plate. First this image and then this image. Okay, so um, I have my uh, nails prepped with uh, the pink uh, Manny Defender from Lantern and Row. So, um, uh, <clears throat> sorry, um, I just realized I didn't prep my uh, acetone. Okay. And this I'm really doing just to add some textural interest and I really don't care too much about um, placement or uh, or anything like that so And as you notice, that's what I did on my index and pinky finger. And after I did that and stamped the ornaments, I decided that the base was still too dark. And that's when I decided to try adding the um, metallic green onto it. And that one, I'm only adding this one down here. And so now that nail is prepped and hopefully looking somewhat like uh, the background of a Christmas tree and the leaves behind it. Um, so now I'm going to switch plates and I'm going to use this um, Uber Chic Beauty Christmas 02, the Holly Jolly plate. And this is a, a really great plate with a bunch of different um, layering images, which um, uh, I've just started getting into. There are these two uh, bows, sort of wrapped present looking things. Um, there's this, which is what I'm going to be showing here in a little bit. There's these uh, candy cane ones. Um, that you can layer and there's the holly ones that you can layer and as always uber chic has sort of these individual images um that you can coordinate and i've actually done a mani with uh these as well and um everything's picked up great and i've had no issues this was sent to me uh um, by lantern and wren for review and um i quite like this plate so this I talked about is the um, is what I'm going to do here. And what it is is it's the background of the ornament that you can stamp and then put the uh, outline of it on top. And what I'm going to do is stamp that in, in black with the Moira uh, foil stamping polish. Then I'm going to put foil on it to make it um, really shiny. And then uh, stamp um, the outline in, uh, in black over it. And that was another reason why I um, went with this, uh, with the, added the lighter green on it. Because the, the dark green was a little too dark, I think, for uh, the ornament outlines to really show through. 
Anyway, um, so what I'm going to use uh, for the foil stamping is these uh, Moira Magic Foils, which really are fabulous. Um, they're so much thinner than any other foil, and you don't have to do anything to them to, to prep them for using for foil stamping. There are other foils you can use, and some of them have a backing that you have to remove with acetone or alcohol, and so that sort of adds an extra step um, and, and sometimes isn't as easy as it might seem. But um, that these are really quite easy to work with. So I am going to show you what I do here. And I have to say that it's a little tricky to both uh, pick these images up and then place them because I don't like to uh, stamp and then pick off the excess and then stamp um, uh, onto the nail. I like to sort of scrape in the image, scrape in the direction that I know I'm going to need to place it on the nail. So, so uh, I, I think I'll sort of try to demonstrate here what I'm doing. But so the first one, I'm going to scrape upwards because. I am going to um, place that near the top of the nail here, as you'll see, and so that the excess is out of the way. So now I have to put the foil on right away to... Uh, And as you can see, that works great. And then I'm going to repeat that process and complete all the background ones first. And so this one, because I'm going to place on the left side of my nail, I'm going to um, scrape towards the right. Okay. And that the excess image is over here. Okay. Then I'm going to put red on this one. Right. And do that again. This one I'm going to go to the left. Ooh, that one was not a good scrape because I used my left hand, which is worthless. So let me do that again. promise I've been doing this just fine. I don't know what my problem is right now. Okay, all right, so. There's the blue. Gonna do one more in silver here and get all four colors on my nails. And um, Moira came out with four more colors, which I have on order, which I'm really quite excited about because they have. Um, They have a uh, copper and a rose gold, and I'm really quite looking forward to uh, those colors. Anyway, so that's what um, the foil bits look like. And now I'm going to um, use regular uh, stamping polish. Um, and here I'm using 
of course I want kaleidoscope black and to stamp the outlines and this is still really hard for me to um, double stamp um, perfectly on top an outline like this and I didn't get a good pick up there again as I try to sort of isolate the image so that I don't have to remove excess but Go and for this one. Okay. A good scrape. Waited too long. So what I'm going to do is turn that plate toward me because I don't know why, maybe because I'm just so used to it, but I prefer scraping towards me and I always seem to get the best scrape that way. Oh, I missed a bit. Turn that again. There you go. So um, what I would do now is remove the liquid latex. And then I have a little bit of cleanup to do. Oops, sorry. And I'm using my Fab Your Nails cleanup brush, which I really, really love. I have a bit of 
the liquid latex around my cuticles. Okay, and then, um, so before I would apply normal top coat, I would apply a coat of uh, a water-based one since I've used foil here and I don't want it to crinkle, even though I doubt they would crinkle that badly since it's just a little bit of foil, but just making sure I uh, cover those foil bits. And then after that dried, I would apply my normal top coat and I'd be done. Now, what I didn't do is um, there's a line here, if you can tell, and I think that's meant to, you know, sort of be on top of the ornaments to uh, for the string. But I decided not to add those because I just thought they were not really necessary. Um, but you can if you want to. Anyway, thanks for watching.